welcome back to In the Garden. I am joined with Jordan from Grange Co-op, and today we're talking about trying to get rid of moss on your hardscapes. So that's like your driveways, your patios, your sidewalks. Roofs. Roofs, yep. all that stuff. So stuff not in plants or gardens mm -hmm. or on trees. Okay, so we have a ton of products here, and they all kind of do different things for different purposes. Sure. So where do you want to start? talking about getting rid of moss. Well, this is definitely something that's not, uh, shouldn't be a shocker for anyone who's lived in the area a long time. And especially with the wet winter we've had, it's been unseason unseasonably warm in some areas. We're definitely gonna have a lot of moss. And it's really pretty. It beautifies our forests, our farmlands. It's great to look at when you're hiking. It's not so great on your hardscapes, as you said. Uh, it can cause issues as far as, you know, cracking and masonry. It can build up and cause debris on your roofs and cause leaks. And it can be a trip hazard or a slip hazard even on your sidewalk. So ultimately, we do have to be selective about where we allow it to grow and thrive. Exactly. When it comes to choosing products, the first thing you want to consider is that since we are treating surfaces, uh, not just your lawn and garden, we don't want to use any moss up products that are only labeled for that. Either right. Iron based, they will stain mm -hmm. and you're not going to scrub out that stain. So sick things labeled for roof and sidewalks. So when you're treating moss, we have different types. You have your granules, you have, you have your sprays that you can hook is up to, you know, your hose if you want to reach further areas like your roof. Talk to me about these products. What's the best way to use these safely? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. If we're getting rid of stuff that is a safety hazard, like a slip thing, we don't want to put ourselves in danger while doing that. So for those of us who have really steep roofs or maybe inaccessible roofs, consider a liquid option that you can apply from a distance. A lot of these options will come with their own hose and sprayer where you just flip the valve to mix the product on your garden hose. Or you can even get a, an attachment that goes on a hose and mix your own uh, product. Often these use the same ingredients as say your granular options, which would be great for spreading on pathways, gravel walkways, such as that. Uh, it's just different application methods. Effectiveness is usually pretty similar for both of those. Awesome. And with these kind of products, of course, you need to have your tools with you. So mm -hmm. when you are spreading the product, Make sure you have the proper products with you. It'll be a lot easier to spread your granular products with a hand spreader or even a larger uh, lawn spreader if you're doing like a wide area uh, driveway than trying to accurately and evenly spread this out by hand. Uh, for the most part, even though we are talking about cleaning methods, these are pretty low toxicity, pretty pet safe. Always follow the label's instructions. All right, well, if you guys want to learn more about how to get rid of moss on your hardscapes, of course, you can head to a Grange Co-op store or you can head to our website at kdrv.com. Thank you so much for joining us in the garden.